Hello friends, this video on binomial theorem part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched binomial theorem part 1 to part 9. Let's take this example where we have to prove that expansion, the middle term is the expansion of 1 plus x to the power 2n is this. We have to prove that in the expansion of this, we get the middle term and this becomes this. So as we can see, 1 plus x to the power 2n. 2n is even number. So the number of terms in the expansion is 2n plus 1, that is odd number. So the middle term, middle term will be 2n. This is 2n divided by 2 plus 1 that is n plus 1. This is the middle term. Now we know that this n plus 1 is the middle term. So now we know that tn plus 1 is the middle term. So tn plus 1 is nothing but 2n because total number of term is 2n c of n plus 1 sorry n because this is t r plus 1 c n and we have 1 1 to the power 2n minus n into x to the power n this is a t n plus 1 term this is nothing but n c n x to the power n that is 2 n permutation divided by n permutation divided by 2 n minus n permutation x to the power n this is nothing but 2 n permutation or 2 n factorial divided by n factorial divided by n factorial into x to the power n. Now if you see what we have to prove, we have to prove something like this 1, 3, 5. This is all odd term into to the power n x to the power n by n factorial. So what we will do? We will try to take out all odd terms and all even number terms. So 2 to the power n factorial is equal to 2n into 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 2 into 2n minus 3 it, it is still 1 and divide by n factorial into n factorial x to the power n so what we will do now we will first separate the odd part and even part so odd part is like this 1 3 5, 7, 9, we will do this till 2n minus 1 because 2n is the even number. This into, we will now separate the even part. 2, 4, 6, 8, da, 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 2n by n factorial into n factorial and here we get actually power n. So what we have done since we have seen in the answer we have all odd part and even part different. So we have clubbed all odd part here and even part here. As we can see, if we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we can also write this in this form 1, 3, 5 into 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6, if it is still 6. So we have clubbed here all odd part, even part. Similarly, what we have done here, we here we had 1, 2, 2n all multiplication. So we have club odd part and even part. So now what we will do? We will take 2 common. Everything has 2 common. 2, 2, 2 common. So now let's go to the screen. So what we will get here is 1 into 2, 3 into 5 into 7 into 9 till 2n minus 1. And here we have 2, 4, 6, I am writing everything same whatever, whatever was there in the last screen. 
I am not making any changes here because it's a new page altogether e to the power n. This was the thing h to the power n. Sorry. Now what we'll do? Since we know two two is common here, all our multiples up to, and in the question also, you see we wanted something to the power n h to the power n. So what we'll do? We'll take two to common here. So this guy will become one three. Five, seven, nine, till two to the power n minus one. And here, since we have two, four, six, eight to two n, we have n terms. So we take common. This become one, two, three, four, till n. And this is n factorial into n factorial. And this is actually power n. So what we have done? We have taken all two commons. And there are n number of terms which have two common. It's all multiplication, so it is two to the power n into this number. You please make a note of this. What we have done here, it was two, four, six, eight, ten to the power. Two. We multiply this two, two n. What we have done, we have taken two to the power n common because we are taking two common from here, two common from here, two common from here. From all the points, we have taken two common, and there are n number of points, so two to the power n because n times we are saying two into two into we have common. Take in common and this became one, two, three, four, five, six till n. Now we observe that n is equal to this one into two into three till n is equal to n factorial. So we'll cancel this. So what we have got here is one into three into five into seven till two to the power n minus one into two to the power n divided by n factorial into x to the power n, and that was our question. If you see, this was we were supposed to prove. We have found the nth term, and this is exactly equal to what we have found. So we have proved that the middle term of the expansion is this. Let me repeat what I have done. This expansion was one plus x to the power two n. We know two n is even number, so that means total number of term in this series will be two n plus one, and that is odd. So for this, the middle term is two n by two. Plus one, that is n plus one. So we found t n plus one, and on solving this, we found that t n plus one is equal to this. So we have found the answer. Now the next question is we have to find the coefficient of term. So here is a question where we have we have to find the coefficient of x six y three in the expansion of this. So what we have to do? We have to first expand this, and then we have to find the coefficient where the term is this. So if you see, we will find first t r plus one. For this, any term t r plus one is equal to nine c r because the n is nine here. Nine c r into the x to the power nine minus r into two y to the power r. This is n c r. Now we are told that this term is equal to x to the power six into y to the power three. So we can say x to the power nine minus r. Into y to the power r because I am taking just the power of six is equal to x to the power six and y to the power three. Correct. So if you compare this term, we get r is equal to three. Here also, if you see nine minus r is equal to six. When I say nine minus r is equal to six, so r is equal to three. And here also r is equal to three. So that means r is equal to three. That is confirmed. So we have to find t of three plus one. So what do you get here? T of three plus one, nine c three. Sorry, nine c three into x to the power six into two y to the power three. So what we get is nine c three is nothing but nine permutation by three permutation into six permutation into two to the power three into x to the power six y to the power And when you solve this, this becomes nine into eight into seven into six permutation by three into t into six permutation to the power three x to the power six y to the power three. Why well, I have done this? Because I wanted to cancel six permutation and three into two I can cancel three is four and this is three. So what I get is this I get is six seventy two. X six Y two. 
so the coefficient of x is y cube is 672 and that is our answer let me repeat what I have done here so we were supposed to find the coefficient of this in the expansion of this so we have found the r plus 1 common term we got this and then we have compared x to the power 9 minus r and y to the power r with x to the power 6 y to the power 3 we got r is equal to 3 that means we are talking about t of r plus 3 plus 1 that is fourth term so fourth term is equal to this we solved this and we got 672 as a coefficient thank you visit examfear.com to watch free education videos try free online test get the best quality study material study from the best tutor and mentors and much more thanks once again